Hey, Scorpio. Thank you for tuning in for your weekly message. Let's see what's going on for you. I want to do... Um, I want to do your current energy, what's crossing your current energy, your past, what you need to leave behind, what's in your thoughts, and what is in the near future, okay? That's how we're going to do it this week. Let's see. Spirit, please show us a message for Scorpio. Scorpio, current energy. Current energy. Please show us what's going on in a current energy. Current energy for Scorpio. Scorpio, current energy, spirit. Okay. Current energy for Scorpio. Please show us current energy. All right. Ooh. You're healing. Okay. Because you are a healer. And what is crossing this energy? What is crossing this energy for Scorpio? What is crossing this, the temperance and the star? What is crossing this energy? The chariot could be um, a cancer. Or this could be due to a vehicle. Maybe um, something is healing due to a vehicle. Maybe um, maybe your vehicle, maybe it could have been a situation where your vehicle was down or you had to get a new vehicle or something like that. Um, or there could be, or for instance, for myself, due to me still healing, recovering from my accident. Um, for some of you, that could be what's going on if you had any issues with that. Um, but yeah, there's definitely uh, really good energy surrounding this. I feel like also if there's a, a situation where you're dealing with a cancer, um, this energy is crossing you healing. So we're going to see more on that. Let's see more. Show us one more on this crossing energy with the chariot. Why is the chariot here? The chariot. Let it come out, spirit. All right. Four of cups. Cancer energy again. Okay. So it looks like some, something is having you feel discontent due to um, recovering from a situation or letting something go or moving on from something, okay? It's, you're, feeling a, you're feeling quite discontent, bored, boredom. You could feel bored with the cancer, bored with how something is moving forward or how or the pace of it moving forward, regardless of the sign. We do have Sagittarius and Aquarius here as well and cancer okay so this is what's going on in your current energy and what's crossing it is you feel like you know maybe your healing process is not moving quick enough okay or recovering um something that this could be a material item such as a vehicle or material items such as a business or a home um this could be if it's not as big as that this could be um, something less than, okay? Or this could be your health, like I said, recovering, whatever it is, whether this is health-wise or material-wise. But you feel like this this is what's crossing it, remember? You feel like something is um, slow. Um, you feel bored because it's not moving quick enough for you, okay? Um, so show us the past energy for Scorpio, past energy. Whoa. The past is the Ten of Wands. The past is uh, feeling burdened, overwhelmed due to responsibilities, like a lot going on or a lot that you have to overcome. But this is in your past, so that's good. You're letting go of the baggage. You're letting go of the, whatever was holding you down, that weight of responsibilities. Or it could be your actual physical weight, okay? But that's the past, all right? So what is, um, what is it that Scorpio needs to leave behind them? What do Scorpio need to leave behind, spirit? Will of fortune. Some type of change that you are expecting. Some type of outcome of a situation. Show us more with the will of fortune. What it is that Scorpio need to leave behind them. Some of you are Sagittarius that you need to leave behind as well. Um, a change in, in a friend group. A change in a connection here. A change in... So you need to leave behind maybe uh, maybe a, a, this friend group you was hoping that it would be better or it would change for the better. But something, so, someone needs to be left behind. Show us more with this Wheel of Fortune and Three of Cups. 
for Scorpio, what they need to leave behind, justice in reverse, yeah, because something is just not fair, something is not balanced. I feel like it's just not balanced. Whoever this friend group, these friends, these people, there it's not, it's, there's no balance with you and them. So it's like you need to leave that in the past, leave that behind you. Yes, Ace of Swords. Um, show us more with the justice in reverse. Could be a Libra. Show us more with the justice in reverse. Um, Queen of Swords could be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. But yeah, you need to set boundaries with certain people. Certain people is just not on your level anymore, Scorpio. And not saying that you're better than. It's just you're on two different levels. You you are evolving due to your healing, your your divine purpose. And someone is not, or or at least they're not at, at that level that you're at. It's just like okay, you know how school like you have you have certain uh, sections. Okay, you 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 on grade you in grade one. Uh, this I mean this the group is still in grade one, and you de develop to grade three, grade five. Like how are you can't work together anymore? So you need to be with those who you are um, in the same. Uh, you're at the same level with so you can continue to grow right so how can you work with these people that's just like you're very knowledgeable you got you got a lot of knowledge about something and then this group don't have that much knowledge it's like how can we work together you need to they need to work like they would benefit off of you but you're not going to benefit so there go the imbalance there with the justice in reverse all right, so show us, um, yeah, something needs to end, all right? Something needs to end and transform here. This could be, like, a past lover, past friends, past whoever. Whoever this is, you need to leave that behind, all right? Um, so what is um, Scorpio thoughts? Scorpio thoughts. Scorpio thoughts. Your thoughts is protecting your energy. Yeah, exactly. So stay in that bubble or protect your protect yourself from certain individuals. So those are that's in your thoughts. Like I must continue to protect myself. Um, stand my ground. Exactly. You need to. Okay, Scorpio. Show us the near future for Scorpio. Near future. Near future. <laughs> Queen of Wands. Yes. In their future, you are stepping back into your comfort zone or that comfortability or that confidence that you could have been lacking because you were with the wrong group, the wrong crowd, the wrong, you know, however this is, you was just with the wrong people. Maybe once upon a time, y'all were the right bunch together, but now it's not, okay? Now it's not. Show us more with the Queen of Wands, with the near future. Queen of Wands with the Ten of Cups. You finding your happiness again. Um, the Hermit. Hmm. Due to you going within, I feel like for some of you, you're going to, um, you may keep quiet on this new outcome that you have coming up. This could be like pertaining to a family or someone that you're going to be coming into connection with. Possibly a Pisces or a Virgo. Show us more on this energy. It looks like also Scorpio, someone is regretting choosing a family over you in the past. Yeah, Scorpio look like someone is wanting to be with you, but they can't because of a family dynamic. But you're going to be receiving a message from this person about wanting to come towards you. Wanting, they're choosing you. So maybe they're realizing that, what I don't know, this is a situation, whether this is their family, their bloodline their relatives or this is a connection that they were in but someone is wanting to take that leap of faith here and recover a connection with you they're obsessively thinking about this they're thinking about it like night and day okay they're actually um they're actually feeling um it's like they're they're feeling some type of guilt because of the choice that they made but now they want to come out of this they they feel stuck for some time 
but they did a lot of thinking about this and they're wanting they know what they want now it's like a for sure thing they want to be with you or they want to come towards you um they want yeah exactly exactly all right this person is wanting a commitment with you they want to be with you there it's like i'm sure now so maybe their choice they were indecisive didn't know for sure um if this will even work out with you but now something happened where this person is like nah scorpio is who i want to be with and i know for sure that um i should be with them so they're wanting to make a move show us more with the near future near future for scorpio near future for scorpio so the near future it looks like yeah there's going to be a reconciliation with this person yeah it's it's like a lot of fear was holding this person back um i feel like this person feel like they feel foolish for for the choice that they have made for some of you it could be a cancer or a water sign or an Aquarius, but someone feel foolish because of not fixing things with you, okay? And they went in another totally different direction, and now things are being delayed for them. Or if they were trying to delay you, it's like you're in a winter season now because what's, what's meant for you is for you. So it looked like something is this... Someone, whoever this is, is feeling foolish. Like, darn it, I should have fixed things. I should have reconciled. I should have um, at least heard this person out or made things right or did what's right. Even if th this is not a situation where you want to be back with this person. This is like a situation where this person, you, maybe you try to uh, compromise with this person, try to make things right. So... You can just be on good terms. But this person was con continuously coming at you in a negative way or making you feel like I must hold back. I must protect my energy. And that's what you did. And now this person is feeling, someone here is feeling like they they made a foolish choice, okay? Whatever this is pertaining to. So it looked like you're gaining your strength and, oh, they said your freedom back. So someone is gaining freedom. Yeah, because it was a lot of betrayal. This was with family. Um, so th this could be their family betrayed you. Um, this could be them betraying you and them having others try to betray you too. Based on what they were saying or trying to, like whatever. Instead of these family members trying to um, look into this situation they just took this person's words and ran with it and came against you. So, with that being said, it looked like you're in a whole new direction um, and you're leaving this behind. So, this could be in a situation where I was seeing like you're leaving friends or family or whoever or this lover or past lover behind and you're protecting your energy, okay? Um, and that's what's on your mind. But it looked like in the near future, it looked like someone is feeling foolish due to their choice. Because you have gained strength. It was a lot of betrayal here. It could be due to money. Okay, Ten of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords. But whatever this is, it's coming to an end. Something is wrapping up and whatever was sent towards you is being reversed back. Okay, so it looked like, um, say for instance, this person wanted you to feel sad, depressed, or without, or lonely, or, uh, or hurt, or whatever. It's like, boom, that is... is being turned right back because it wasn't right and god like no god don't like ugly so let me lead you in another direction and leave this energy behind so it looks like you're on a new on a new path which is bringing you happiness the sun you have already gained the clarity that you need um yeah this could be per pertaining to like working with a group of friends or people certain people you're going to be working with the right ones it's like you're leaving Leaving a group behind, leaving a group of people behind to go towards a new group. And this group is more 
for you than against you. And these, this group was more against you, trying to hinder you, hurt you, lie, lie on you. But you're now, you've seen that. You gain that clarity and you realize who is really working with you and not against you. So in the near future, I feel like you're going to be with the right crowd, the right group, the right people. Or you are, you have already stepped into that energy and you're letting go of certain individuals that's not yet. You're no longer investing into certain people or certain energies, okay? So in the near future, it looks like you have uh, a lot of good coming in, happiness. And whoever was trying to make you suffer, they have to suffer because, and it's not you intentionally making them suffer. It's just, you know, that's how karma works, right? So I feel like you're moving away from this. This person is, whoever this person is, is feeling that, feeling what has happened. And it's all due to their behalf. They stirred this up, so now they have to lie in it, lie in this drama, this prob these problems. Okay. So yeah, because you're walking away. Ooh, eight of cups. Wow. Eight of cups came out the tower, ace of cups, nine of cups, and I mean nine of swords and a two of swords. Yeah. So it looked like uh you could have left abruptly or just Say, for instance, you give, 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 and then one day you said, I'm done. And you, like, really went cold turkey. <laughs> yeah, you did, two of swords. You said, no, I'm done. I'm not, and, and, ooh, this threw everybody off. But, so what? You had to do what was best for you, Scorpio. Because these individuals did not respect you. They did not, um, they did not see your worth whatsoever. They didn't... They did not recognize that you are a genuine soul. Um, and if they did, they used it and abused it, okay? This was, that's why Spirit was saying, okay, this is why you need to leave this behind. They're receiving their karma in other ways and let that be. Don't even focus on it, just move forward. I'm so tired of this story, but it's definitely coming out um, for a lot of you because it's still going on. Um, this could have been going on for years. But I'm so tired of it, but it's nothing that I could do. I could just I just have to give what what is given. And it's in the cards. So but it look it looked good because you blocked whoever these people are and you walk forward, you move forward. It looked like you have an unexpected message that will be coming in from someone that you know. Um, this is someone maybe a Gemini or a, a Pisces. Okay, or a cancer. Um, or a Scorpio. Yeah, it could be any sign that I just mentioned, or a Libra. But however this is, it definitely looked like forward movement for you. Yeah, three of wands, new plans. All right, it looked like you're about to step into a new opportunity. Um, yeah, you stepping into, like, you making boss moves out here. It looked like Scorpio. Wow. What is it? Scorpio, you're you're showing up as the queen of pentacles, okay? Um, someone is is regretting ending things with you or not doing right by you with the five of cups. Someone is regretting placing you in competition. Um, someone is is regretting the fact that they did not see your worth, okay? Um, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That is in regret or someone who was in this energy who felt like, you know, they was very much in their ego. Felt like they would have you whatever, whenever and however long they wanted to have you. They didn't, they never thought this day would come where you would actually end this cycle with them for good. So, yeah, someone is, is not liking the fact that you're in this energy of blocking them off, not communicating. Um, yeah, you're closed off completely. Closed off completely. Yeah, you don't see any good with this person. Yeah, you're holding back. Someone. There could be some betrayal as well due to, like, someone's reproductive system. Like, someone could have been trying to stop you from producing or having any type of if it's not your fertility this could be like due to your um 
creativity. Like someone was trying to suppress it, keep you from creating, keep you from um, accomplishing goals, moving forward. Yeah, someone was trying to suppress that. Um, it was definitely a lot of betrayal here. It could be an air sign involved or a Leo that was trying to do this or have done this. Um, it do look like something was repetitive. They were doing this over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Um, so imagine their karma. <laughs> well then, I hope you enjoy. But yeah, so it definitely looked like someone was definitely trying to hinder you over and over. Um, there could be a message coming in from a doctor that is letting you know it. you could be receiving some good news. But some of it may be some things that you have to work on and some things, maybe some changes within your body that you're going to be realizing. Um, but you're okay. Okay. Um, it does look like right now new love is not so much the thing for you right now. It looks like, or if you're already in a connection, I feel like you focusing on your health and your body and your and you and your finances is actually more of a priority for you right now. So you could be putting your relationship like it's there, but I'm not going to get, I'm, I'm focusing on me. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo or this is just you. Um, this is just you working on self, okay? They want you to let down your guards when it comes to, um, love because i'm also seeing like if you are single and you're focusing on self 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 they're like hey we know you've been heartbroken we know in the past like it's certain things that you have experienced but you can't block off love forever you need to heal your heart um and it's definitely uh, some boundaries there a lot of boundaries that could be holding you back from love so for some of you that's like Dang, when am I going to have love? I want love, but where is it? It's because you're not healed. You haven't healed from the past situation that you have been in. For some of you, someone could have been trying to block your love, but that is being removed. They can't block it anymore, no matter how much they try. Someone have a lot of karma coming in. The tower. What is this tower about? Hmm. This could be like a deja vu. Something could be coming to you and it's like dang that seemed familiar yeah um some of you this these are messages someone is trying to uh it's like someone is trying to tap into your mental or something but that ain't working try try again mother <laughs> um i rather you don't because it's whoever this is they got some major karma but if they do try again it's blocked it's not working um um and if 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 anything whoever this is that's having mental issues they are already having mental issues and this could be this person for some of you this could be a scorpio that are that is having some issues mentally someone needs to release certain friend groups okay that's what it's saying certain people and then um Things going to turn around for you, okay? Or this could be past lovers, whoever, but you just need to release it. Release them folks. They're no good for you now. All right. Scorpio. Spirit, please show us a message for Scorpio. Scorpio. Thank you. Scorpio. Scorpio. Yeah, a lot of clarity have came in. A lot of truth has been revealed. Um Try not to think so much about the past. Just try not to replay these events, especially the, the 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 bad ones, like the ones that have hurt you. Like it's time to recognize it and understand why that happened, and then let it go. 
Okay. I would say just, oh, just leave the past and whatever hurts you, leave that alone. Don't think about it. But you have to think about it in order in order to overcome it. So you're going to have to think about it and understand why this actually happened. And come out of the why me, okay? And just understand what this situation was about, okay? No matter how bad it was, um, you have to think about it and come to some type of understanding. Certain th everything happened for a reason and certain things you need to come into. You're going to have to step out the box, look at the situation from a different point, okay? Um, gain a different perspective about it. Um, try not to dwell too much on, um, that shouldn't have happened to me. Um, because the more you stay in that energy, the more it's going to just continue to float around you and suppress you and, and delay you for the next step. So at this time, you need to, uh, like I said, pretty much think about what has happened, whatever that bad situation is, um, and gain, gain a different perspective. Gain a reason why. Gain knowledge on why certain things happen to you in your life, okay? And come to some type of understanding so you can move on and completely let that go. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to let go. Um, because there's definitely some repeated thinking here. Uh, something over and over in your head. It's time to move on. Move on from certain friends, certain people, okay? And I know, like, sometimes it's certain people that we want to, like, we have love for, you know. And it's like, dang, you know, it's kind of messed up. I have to move on from you because we're just not on that same level anymore. Um, and this is due to healing. Like, someone is not wanting to heal. Someone is wanting to be, wanting to, uh, someone may have uh, that negative spirit of vendetta. Someone may want to like, were you trying to grow and heal? This person is wanting to get someone back for something. Like, come on now. You have to move on from that. Like, someone is wanting a tit for tat. Mm hmm And it's time for you to heal from that. And maybe this, were you, this was you in the past. But you have overcame that and realized that's not right. So let me move on from that. And good if you have, Scorpio. And they want you to continue. Um... Whoever I'm speaking to is someone in your group or someone that you associate associated yourself with that needs to be removed because they're not growing, okay? I don't know how many times I say that, but spirit keep bringing that up, all right? Someone is not growing or it's, someone, it's an attachment here that needs to be removed from your life so you can move on to the next. Yeah, because you have expansion here. All right. Um, yeah, something is growing for you. This could be in a dating world. Like someone wants to date you, Scorpio. Someone is wanting to date you, or this could be if this is your person. Um, you may need to start having if you are already with this person okay we do have cupid's arrow have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting okay so someone is wanting to date you someone isn't interested in you and they want to take you out on a date for some of you you're already in a connection um they're saying like okay yeah that focus on you you healing that's great continue to do that but also have it make a balance where you can give into your connection and date okay even though you're in a committed relationship with whoever this is they're saying like go on dates okay it's still good it's, it's good to date when you're in a exclusive relationship when you're with this person exclusively okay but for some of you that are single um they want you to get back out there and be more open to the dating world okay um I feel like whoever this is that's interested in you, you marry each other. Yeah, wow. I said that and then Twin Flames came out. Uh, keys, keys on a ring, many options, decision, string along when I stand. So some of you, that's what they're saying, date, get out there. Someone is going to express their feelings to you. All right. 
they're thinking of you right now, Scorpio. This could be the person that you're with. This could be the person. If you're not with them, this is the person that's thinking of you. Um, I'm going to get more in an extended message. Um, speaking of the person that's thinking of you, we're going to see who this person is, what they want, what do they think of you when they think of you. So their thoughts of you. Um... And what is the outcome of this situation? And uh, I'm going to get an oracle message as well for you. 